see how this game goes. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happened there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that. <coughs> Sorry that had been waiting for them in the mountains. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Sick just looking at this place. Mount Mess uh, shut down uh, amid scandal and government secrecy and mentions to anyone. The other way, work on a psychiatric facility 2009 after the guys of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of discussing profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay, let's figure out where to go. Is that the only notes I have? Okay. Figures it wouldn't be that easy.
dark in here. claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dreaming states. Morphogenic engine actively observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage 4 hormones, hormone schedules. Diagnostic spir spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hematocritic centrifuge <sighs> again failed to separate erythrocytes God, I cannot read this. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic uh, REM uh, N, uh, N REM cycles. Uh, laughter in N REM state. Your notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the ASO. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. <laughs> No, the only Traeger on company records, uh, one Richard Traeger is an executive from MRD. All our lines of security personnel must be questioned in video security. Improved to include analytical biometrics. Okay. Heads lined up in, uh, like balls behind the bar. Dead Markov scientists from uh, scientists hung from the ceilings. Their badges say Markov advanced research systems. Markov's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another million. How did Markov think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some there's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the... Oh, I see. My head. I, I thought he was still on the thing about them profiting. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Wait. I can't leave the way I came. Oh, yeah. I went down.
probably for the best. That's definitely for the best. Little face. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. You're crazy. Those. Oh, that's cool. That's locked. Oh, you're still alive. So that's for the camera, buddy. Oh, what a gorgeous smile. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody... Of Psychiatric Center, Markov Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road. Ooh, my voice. 
112. Affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Markov Hardline Security, who have reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish, uh, establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action of the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance of this or issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facility and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. Beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs. Nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. <laughs> he throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up, and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler. <laughs> oh my god! In a homemade priest outfit, calls me as a postal. Not a job I asked for. There, there are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them in for my benefit. Just the hand in the head. security room. I'll head there later. Let me see if this man will let me in. Nope. Why should we have to pay for you? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. Didn't say you did, buddy. Okay. Oh, both lead to the same place. That is... That is a snapped neck. I think. I don't know how this person's body is oriented. At least not exactly. Okay. Dear sir, is the full report pending? No immediate uh, action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of the pro of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. The four f facilities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with other, uh, as with others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishing. Vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to assure contained control and profit. Right off the board, legal mitigation.
Stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker, ex military police. Several tourists in Afghanistan. A lot of blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. So that's Chris Walker then? You are here, aren't you? Onwards, I guess. I'm guessing that would be down here. Seems as if only just down the dog. Oh. Somebody broke open the door. I didn't know why. Experiment and research February 10th, 1954. On Wednesday, 10 February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work has continued in Building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Materials and bridge. One, a post-hypnotic, or post-hypnotic, um, a post-hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted. Miss, Mrs. Johnson and Pierce immediately prog progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson. Wait. Oh, I see. Sorry, I read that stupidly. Sorry. Or in my head. I read it out loud fine, I think. Now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Jackson carried out the suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused and in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that uh, that the foregoing sequence had happened. Ah, out of battery. Okay. Breaker. 
Pull this in the next episode. Bye.